I did expression. And I was just, at first I wanted to do like paint canvases, black, like all different shapes of them and sizes. And uh, I was going to paint them black and with the splatter paint them. But then I was on the computer and I was just scrolling through things and I saw something like this. And I was like, well, that's totally cool. I want to do something like that too. So I did. And um, this is like glue. I glued everything in the black, pretty much, except this. And then what I was going to do was I was going to uh, splatter paint this, but then I found this cool thing to do with like bleeding tissue paper. And that was a lot of fun, but it gets all over your hands. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, and I have to repaint that, so. There you go. Um, I have a question. So I noticed, like, I think it was this week that, like, you and this one were going back and forth for the tiers, I think those are, right? How did you end up making, like, your decision to do those ones? Well, I had, like, three ideas. At first, I was just going to, like, take a bunch of this and have it, like, falling down her face to make it look like this was just, like, dripping down. And then I was going to do, because in the actual picture, her whole face is painted different colors, kind of, like, how Annie's is, it's all blended like that. And then, uh, so we put like the pink up here because there was like pink by her eyebrows and on her nose and stuff. But I didn't really like it. it kind of like threw me off for some reason. And then another idea we had was just to do the tears. So I went with that because I like that the most. Looks good. Um, what do you think the most difficult part was of this piece? The most difficult part was probably painting the glue lines black, like on her nose and her lip. And like all the small spaces or parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like how those stand out. I like how you can feel the depth of like the eyebrow hairs and mm -hmm. eyelashes. Eyelashes and it just looks yeah, it looks good. I really like the glue. Or the tissue thing on top. I I had expected the bleeding tissue to be like more vibrant. Like the color that it is done there, you know, like before it bleeds, like it, I don't know, I just, I thought it was gonna be like, like that color. I did too. And then it did that and I was like, oh, okay. But I kind of like how like the red faded more because the red was super dark and I didn't really like it. <clears throat> so, um, like, I don't know if it's just me, but like when I look at your picture and I see all the colors, like, is that kind of like supposed to be her head in a way? Like what's in her, Looks like her a thoughts? Yeah, 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 like I keep thinking it's like her thoughts and that's like why she's crying, I guess, or something. You got it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, one other thing, something that's throwing me off is like the black at the bottom. You can see like your brush, brush strokes. And like you might just want to go another layer of black at the bottom. See, I thought about that, and then it dried, and I kind of liked how I could see the brush strokes in it. Yeah, I was gonna say I kind of like how it's lighter at the bottom, but I I like the um, the contrast, so like the red lips on the white face. Mm -hmm. But like I don't know, part of me feels like it, if it were like lighter, like the colors in the um, top, top part, or <laughs> like you actually use the top part or something in her lips. Like I feel like there's a lot of focus on her lips, but like her, that wasn't like your intention, you know, like, like just because the, like the, the vibrantness, I don't know, the strength of the red color kind of takes away from like the really neat, like, so even if you just like added a little bit of white to the red, it's to like kind of make it light up. Yeah. But also, like, I don't know if you want like, like that much attention to the lips intentionally, but I feel the same way. I feel like I'm looking at the lips. Well, I was going to originally leave them white, but then I felt like it was too much white. And then the other red I had, I felt like it was too bright. Mm -hmm. So I chose that one. Yeah. 
Well, it's because like the first idea we had was like in the picture they weren't like pointed, they were more like square and kind of like pixely. Mm -hmm. So I drew them as like weird little box things, and then I was like, these just look weird. I can't, like I don't like it. So then I went back and I just drew those instead. And I like them a lot better than the square ones. Yeah. 